Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to retopo in Maya. And if you're in my class, I want you to retopo the skull. Um, and I'll show you the reason why. So we exported this out. This is a Z remeshed model from ZBrush. And I'll show you the problem. Um, it does sometimes create triangles, so that's a problem. Um, we don't want any like kind of triangles and we don't want topology like this and kind of weird geometry in different places that um, are not helpful. Um, and then I went on to the UV side and I'll show you a problem. So when you're doing retopoing, you want there to be concentric circles around things you want to add a cut. Um, and so let's try, like say I want to cut off this piece from the skull, the cheekbone part. Um, if I try to do that, see how it kind of, it, it, this line doesn't go all the way through. There's like a concentric circle. There like there's this spiraling that happens and then it goes all the way up here and it makes it really hard to cut it up because then you have to do this stair step thing to fix it and you have to like do something like that then heal up whatever was over here get rid of these and just like it becomes a, kind of a pain and a mess to deal with um, depending on how lucky you are and how much you are using the Z remesh guides, um, you can mitigate that problem a little bit, but, um, most likely you'll, you'll still have some trouble, um, like areas that are not great. Um, okay. So because of that, I'm just going to go back and camera base this. I don't have any cuts. What we're going to use is Maya's retopoing. And by default, it should be on the right side here. It should be one called modeling toolkit. And what we're going to use is the quad draw. So I'm going to select this. And for this tool to work, you have to make it live. And um, to make it live, you go over here click on that what the, and you won't be able to select it what this does is it makes other geometry and things stick to the geometry so if I go over to create and create a sphere or a cube looks like see how it's sticking to the top of my surface it's actually sticking my my pivot point is sticking to the box or the box of my pivot point is sticking to the skull so I can just move this pivot point to the bottom and you can do this and it will stick perfectly on top like so this might be a good way to put objects in a scene like a room you're if you had a ground plane you would make that live and then on a chair you would make sure the pivot points on the bottom of the chair and then you could easily move it on, slide it on the ground, um, on the floor. So I'll get rid of this. I'm going to make this live again. And what we're going to do is use Quadra. So Quadra, I'll just make a, I'll do a section here. This is uses a lot of hotkeys. So if you're wondering, if you need a little chart. You can go down here on the bottom and under quad draw options then click on keyboard mouse shortcuts you can scroll down and see all those um, think of this as a thing where you can put points uh, like vertices down so I, if you can see that maybe it's not really great let me change my material quick for here and we'll do a Lambert. Probably need to delete my history, looks like.
Yikes. Um, so I'm gonna bring that down and I will delete my history. And then I'll make that live. And let's go to quad draw. So it kept those little points, see those green dots. Think of these as vertices. Um, and then I can hold down shift and click. And that creates a face. And it's stuck to the, those points stuck to the surface of my object. And I can easily add two more points if I want. I can flow this and do multiple. Just hold down shift and drag the left click. So you can do stuff like this. So it's easily, um, you can fi figure out the flow of things. Um, and then you can also um, add spans or like ed edge loops. So you can hold down control, click and see how it, the more I add, the more it follows the shape of my referenced or of my live skull. And so I can do something like this. And then I can also, a nice feature is smoothing. So I'm going to hold down shift and it will smooth and also stay to the surface of my object. So I can do nice kind of retopo work this way. Um, a nice feature also, if you go down here, um, is the tab middle mouse. So I can go over and select and grab that edge and go tab middle mouse and grab that whole section. So they bring it over like this, which is really cool. And then I can smooth it if I want. Like that. This by holding down shift. Um, and then to delete things, you hold down control shift and you can delete edges or faces. And you can also delete points by holding control shift. Um, so that's a good kind of general overview. So I'm gonna delete a bunch of these. Let's get them out of the way. Um, it won't allow you to delete the last face. And um, you'd have to get out of this tool then delete it, delete the object. Okay, so let's start retopoing our skull. Um, actually, let's move that to the next video. All right, see ya.